Hello, my name is Drew Adnokio and welcome to my flower series. I've been trying to focus more on bigger projects because I really want to put my mind into making much bigger bodies of work so that I can, you know, put that on my resume and also mainly just get into the idea of making bigger pieces because I usually don't make a lot of big uh, abstract art pieces so I was like you know what why not start with this and also too I love flowers so it kind of was just a win-win situation the struggle of realizing that you have a goal that you're trying to achieve but nothing is really working out so you spend literally days in your bed crying because you realize that oh my god this little life is not working the way I wanted to but at the end of the day, it's okay because eventually you get back up and then you just start again. You just start working again and you figure everything out. That's really what I'm focused on mainly now outside of the projects is just mainly just getting into the idea of not sitting in my bed for a couple days for at least more than one day or so and just getting up and doing things because, you know, I have so many great ideas, but I just don't put them all in paper. And that's a no-no. That is a really big no-no. I've been mainly focused on working with a lot of flowers recently and I've kind of been enjoying it only because for one, flowers are much easier for me to draw. Not only that, but I've been really obsessed with a lot of flowers, especially since um, ever since making a lot of paintings that I I've really been wanting to make flowers or anything that's flower related. For this series, I'm making sure not to look at any flowers and just mainly do one off the brain and just, you know, kind of think of one and envision it in my in my head and then focus on that only because I really just don't want to look it up. It's too much work for me. And also, too, I want to see what I can do, like because I still want to make it abstract. So I don't want to make an actual flower, but at least something similar to it. And of course, it, because it's still an abstract piece, I'm still going to be putting, you know, some abstract lines, a little bit here, a little bit of this and then that, you know, make something different. But it will have some flowers in there. And that's kind of just the point of the project, really, just to make flowers. That's it. A lot of people always ask me, what is my inspiration? What inspires me to make the art that I do? And I always give out different answers because I can never really give just one because there isn't like one answer that I can give like I try to give one answer but it never really comes down to that I always give out at least like one or two answers that are always different from each other and most of the time they end up coming back to the same idea but I mean <laughs> they're never can really that they're never really that consistent if I'm being honest like I remember the first time I was trying to get my work into an exhibition and somebody asked me on what inspires me and I simply said just life. I simply just said just life because I really had nothing else to say. It may be basic for certain people but I think life always comes into play especially when things just change around you. That always makes up for something new in your art. And speaking of art I'm going to change this up because I just realized that they're not really you can't really see them that well like the flowers so i'm going to be putting um a marker to it and just drawing out the contour so that you can see it better but this is the finishing product i hope you like it as always if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and also follow me on instagram you know follow me on uh, tiktok as well and uh thank you so much if you stuck here all the way to the end thank you